wild area bordering New Jersey and Pennsylvania, it is a hidden hot spot in the wintertime. Smallmouth bass will still be active in the winter when temperatures drop below 40 degrees. You just need to know what to throw. Today we're using hair jigs and fishing slowly and pulling in some nice sized smallies. That's the exciting part about it. Good fish. I love the hair jig bite. 38 degree air temperature. <laughs> and we're catching smallies, baby. On the hair jig. Nice. I, I absolutely love it. Chris, explain, explain what that bite feels like exactly. What you're looking for when you're looking for a bite. It's more than weight. There's actually a little bit of a tick to it. And it's a, it's a, it's a great feeling. It really is. It's a, it's a very interesting, almost a ghost tick, if you will. It's a, it's a little bit of a weight, and as you lift it, you can feel the fish almost wake up. It's almost like the fish grab it, and they, they're just kind of sitting with it, and you feel just something that doesn't feel quite right. It's like a mush mouth or a ghost tick, and when you lift it, you can feel the fish getting stronger and stronger and stronger, and that just, because you don't know when you first hook into them if it's going to be a 14, 15 like we just had, or it's going to be a 20. Right. It's just a fantastic it's why you suffer through the cold weather. <laughs> it's an awful way to suffer, isn't it? It is a terrible way to suffer. That tanked it. That really tanked it. Woo! That's a little heifer. A big D heifer. When I went to lift up on it, I could barely move it. And that's just a wonderful feeling when they do that. <laughs> That's a heavy fish. Yes, it is. That's compared nice. to what we had so far. Very, very nice winter fish. And away she goes. She saw that water and said, send me back home, baby. <laughs> it's too windy up there. Yeah, when you first lift and you can feel that first solid head yeah, shake, you know what I mean? Yeah. It goes from weight and all you do is you feel that fish go to one side. That's the difference between a real hard jig bite and the mush mouth bite that we that's talk about. <laughs> You're almost looking for that mush and then that first head yeah. movement or head shake. Whereas right. if, if they go down there and they flare their gills and pop it, you feel that doop. Right. It's, it's like you feel, you feel something that's obviously not bottom anymore and then it, and when you lift, and you, all I'm waiting for is that first wave, that first thud. You can kind of determine what the size of the fish yep. is already before yep. you ever even see it. That's it's tricky, it's tricky to, de to detect it. When I teach this type of a bite, I'll teach, if you feel a, if you feel a stick, if you feel a leaf, yep. set, the, set hook. the hook. Don't wait. The other thing that makes Take it really line. tough this time of year is we almost always have wind. Yeah, you got wind blowing now, especially. It's, it's tough. It's tough on your hands, it's tough on your feeling the jig. Concentration's big. If I'm cold, I don't concentrate as well. If I have to go to the bathroom, I don't concentrate as well. If I'm hungry or thirsty, there's a lot of variables that go into winter fishing, and one of the things is comfort. You can't dress warm enough. Dress in layers, you can remove layers. This Cabela's Guide Wear is top shelf stuff. You can always remove clothes. You can't ever snap your fingers and have it with you if you don't have it. And something to break this wind, a good outer shell like the guide wear is so important. There's so much pressure. I can feel the wind on the tip of my rod, and there's literally so much pressure on this. So hard to feel the jig. And we're fishing deep. I mean, these aren't shallower, you know, five and six and seven foot deep holes and flats. We're fishing 40 feet of water behind me. You know, some of these holes are deep holes. Real close to the boat. Woo! That's another tank, baby. Jeez. Feeling that jig biting it. You, know, you said it earlier, but these Shimano rods. No, oh, I mean can't it's beat that man. It's windy, and you're feeling that bite. I had a couple of really good anglers on my boat the other day, but their equipment just really wasn't as good as uh, what it probably should have been. I absolutely love them. Fun little area, isn't it? It is. My hands are freezing. <laughs> I don't know if you can pick this up on the camera or not, but the wind is howling. You can see it across the water here, and it's just... It isn't pleasant out here right <laughs> now, friend. <laughs> Those fish, whew. 
It's nice to see them as wound up as they are. That's amazing. I wish I could get that wound up when it was this cold. This is about the only thing that'll do it. <laughs> Anymore, right? Otherwise, I'd be sitting at home doing nothing today. 